about eight or nine years ago, worlds colliding okay. in Charlotte, North Carolina. Northern Yankee wife, raised by liberal hippies in New Jersey, met conservative Christian Southern husband, raised okay. by non-hippies in Alabama. Right. And we immediately fell in love. And now two kids later, at a whole lot of miles, we are Southern husband and Yankee wife. wife. Today we're at the Bluebird yeah, yeah, Cafe yeah, in Pulaski. Pulaski. She's <laughs> doing very good. She was saying Pulaski. <laughs> that is not the right pronunciation. Um, so she's going to be reviewing today, and I got to pick her food. What she has got is a Southern Club sandwich with candied bacon. Had me at candied bacon. Fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes, homemade chips. I'm having a burger that I'm going to get a bite of. Yes, out. this is like a candied bacon cheeseburger. With pimento cheese. With pimento cheese. And I'm picky about my pimento cheese because yeah. I make my own. Um, first off, if you're ever in Pulaski, not Pulaski, Pulaski. Pulaski. If you're ever in Pulaski, stop by the Bluebird. Okay, you're not going to be disappointed. The menu looks amazing. <laughs> this is going to be our halfway point to meet family. Yes, um, my sister and niece are with us. Yes, they are. And they have a blue cheese and pear burger. Yep. And a peanut butter and jelly burger that I'm very yes. excited to hear about. Um, first off, impressions on the restaurant. Extremely cute, extremely clean, cute, cute. quirky. Yeah. Um, right near the courthouse, where food is always good near the courthouse right, in a little town. Right, right. But we don't, we're not sure it's a courthouse. Because, I think it's a courthouse. I mean, the Russians could figure it out. And I mean, we don't there's want no that sign, you see. We there's drove all the way around. Sign. There's no sign. There's no sign. Oh, and, okay. Well, okay. apparently there's a we sign. We missed the sign. You have we to be it. from Tennessee to see right. the sign. Uh, Tennessee actually is on a bye week this week, honey. And the bye week's favored by 14 points. <laughs> so, we're going to uh, eat, eat our food. We're going to eat our food, and then we're going to come back and tell you a little bit about it. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay, so we started eating, and the first thing that comes to my mind is full-blown food gasm. Okay, <laughs> um, the sides, the chips are homemade, perfectly cooked, perfectly crunched. I tried a little bit of the Southern Club. Sorry for my camera work, y'all. It's terrible. Camel work is terrible. The Southern Club, how would you describe it? Okay, so this has turkey, candy peppercorn bacon, ham, lettuce, fried green tomatoes, and this amazing remoulade sauce on it. So it's um it's it's really good. It's layers of flavor. I would say the theme of this restaurant is layers of flavor. Right. Okay, so for like my burger, I've got <laughs> there we go. I've got candied bacon. Um, I've got homemade pimento cheese. I've got regular cheese. Um, the layers of flavor on it are really good. Uh, we've also got at the table, there's a burger with a pear and a and blue cheese. And my sister-in-law got it without the mustard, which we'll forgive this time. Uh, <laughs> I tried a bite of it. With the mustard, I think it would have been perfection. Without the mustard, it was just phenomenal. So, so far, so good. We'll be right back. All right, so we um, we just ate at... Uh, the Bluebird Cafe. The Bluebird Cafe uh, in Pulaski, Tennessee. And not Pulaski. Not Pulaski. 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 Um, Chris chose for me the Southern... Club. club sandwich and it had turkey ham lettuce fried fried green tomato peppered candied bacon and fried green tomatoes and this amazing remoulade that was when you could take a whole bite with all the layers of the club sandwich it was the perfect amount of spicy but it's really tall right club sandwiches are really tall um so when I took it apart to eat half and half, the remoulade's only on one side, so that was a little too spicy. But, I mean, excellent, excellent food layer flavors. Um, I had a bite of my sister's blue cheese and pear burger, and it was very good. This place is, it's like, it looks like a little small town luncheonette. Well, uh, from for, the outside. For lunches, they do a classic uh, meat and three. Um, we 
which is a southern thing for a working man's lunch. But I talked to the chef and the guy who owns it. This guy is classically trained. And I asked him, you know, the flavor combinations, the way you're building your flavor profiles. I said, what is your background? He says, I've been classically trained. I've done work as a pastry chef. I've done work in big restaurants. And it shows. Um, the burger that I got, I got a bacon cheeseburger with that candied bacon. Uh, the candied bacon, first off, is meat candy. Yeah. Okay. We got a side order, so we, we can just yeah. get plain. We get a side order of the meat candy, and I could have eaten a meal of just that. My burger, <clears throat> a nice sirloin burger, healthy proportion of meat. Then you've got the candied peppered bacon on top of it and a homemade pimento cheese. Now, I'm picky about pimento cheese. I make my own. Some of you have even tried it before. So I don't like a lot of pimento cheese that I don't make because I think people make it wrong. This guy's not one of those people. I mean, he knows what he's doing. The burger that I had, you have the spicy pimento cheese, the sweet bacon, the savory of the meat, yo, know, and then you had another type of cheese on it as well along with the crispy, you know, crunch of the lettuce and little things like looking at the lettuce, getting the right pieces off of the head, not just whatever's there, but picking the right pieces that look appealing. You know, toasting the buns, little things like that elevated from just a burger to, okay, wow, we gotta come back to this place again. Yeah, yeah. I love a place that's a surprise that when you pull in the parking lot, you don't necessarily know that you're going to have like a dining experience and this place is kind of like that it's right. the the decor is kind of cute and small quirky. town and quirky and the place was full of what regulars. i would say regulars older folks that we talked to a really nice man i don't remember his last name his name was tommy he had a big white beard just like santa claus and he told us he eats breakfast there six days a week um so, I mean, I was expecting kind of your regular salt-of-the-earth diner fare. Um, but what we got was so much more. more than that. And what's cool about this place is it's really good. There's a lot on the menu. So, you can try a lot of different things on Fridays. They have Cajun Day. Yes. Um, but it's exactly halfway between my sister's house and my house. So, um you know, I think it'll be a regular stop. Well, I think it will too yeah. because we don't get to see as much of each other as we would like. It's not a far drive. It's like not quite four hours from my house to her house, but four hours is still significant when everybody has kids in school. This is a way, like literally my kids are at school. I dropped my kids at school. Chris and I got ready, got in the car and went. It's 11.45 now. We'll be home in time to not have to go straight to pick the kids up. So, um... Bluebird Cafe, Bluebird Cafe, scale of one to five, five stars being, oh my God, I, I can die now uh, because I've eaten here. Uh, I would give this a solid four, maybe four and a quarter. I'm taking off a quarter star because the bathroom is small. Okay, that's how picky we're getting. The bathroom was small. So we're going to lose a quarter star for that. If you're in Pulaski, not Pulaski, Pulaski, if you're ever in Pulaski, stop at the Bluebird Cafe and you ain't gonna be disappointed. Try the Southern Reuben. Okay, what I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna give him back their half star because y'all have seen Chris, right? If he says that a bathroom is small, it's probably just normal people size. So I'm gonna give him a four and a half because of that bacon. I got the bite of bacon that had all the sugar on it. And it was so good. And this guy told me, not for the restaurant, but just in his life, he made ice cream with that bacon. I want that. I want, I want that, that ice cream. cream. Do you want that ice cream? I want candied bacon ice cream, yes. Yes, someone make us candy bacon ice cream and bring it to us. So, Bluebird Cafe, Pulaski, Tennessee. Not Check Pulaski. Not Pulaski. Check it out. Yankee wife likes that southern restaurant. Yes, yes. So southern husband is two for two for the week. Whoop, whoop. So, uh, we have... But the next pick will be mine. Oh, it will. I'm a little scared. I'm a little bit afraid. Well, I mean, how much real authentic northern food can we get within driving distance of Bluntsville, Alabama, honey? Why do you think I'm afraid? Okay. <laughs> I may pick, though, some things that maybe aren't strictly northern, but are not what Chris would normally pick. 
So if you like our first video for Southern Husband, Yankee Wife, like it, subscribe to it. Uh, this is going to be on YouTube and Facebook. If you have comments, please leave the comments. Uh, we ask that you keep it clean. And if you have a restaurant in our area you would like us to check out. How far leave. are we willing to drive? Hour? It depends on the restaurant now. Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, we got kids, right? Yeah, so we got I would kids. say two hour, a two hour radius of Bluntsville, Alabama. So if you have an idea, put it in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Southern Husband. And Yankee Wife.